Today I'm going to show you how to build a WordPress website using our Simply IDX 3.0 theme from step one. We start with a new WordPress website, fresh out of the box with just our Simply IDX 3.0 theme and Beaver Builder installed. This is how you'll receive your website at first if you decide to order a new site with us. So click to visit the site and pull up the home page. From here, click the title of your site and then click in the drop down menu where it says themes. Look for the Simply IDX 2021 theme and click activate. Once we hit activate, Let's go back to our home page. We can see that it's blank now. So let's apply a home page template. From your website's dashboard, go to pages, create a new page and feel free to publish it. Then you're gonna wanna title it. You'll probably want something like home or home page. Then just launch Beaver Builder. If you're looking for a complete template for your homepage designs, you can pick that out from all of the theme options at simplyidx.flywheelsites.com. These are pre-made homepage designs that make it easy to get started on your new site. Feel free to take one of these designs and go with it for your branding. However, if you want to start building from scratch and borrow elements from all of these designs, this is what we're going to do. So back on that page where we launched Beaver Builder, check out the sidebar with different options. You can easily drag and drop different modules, but head over to the saved section to see all of our unique page elements. Maybe you like the smart home slider, but you wanna combine it with some different choices instead of just going with that theme. In that case, you would just click where it says smart home slider and drag it over to the drop section. After it loads in, configure the row settings to change the background video and overlaying text. Next, we'll add in the Sweet Home Search tool and we'll move that to inside the hero section that we were just working with. We can play with the alignment, colors, fonts, and more. Next, we'll add in some columns. So go over to rows and drag those the same way. Here, we're changing the background to be a solid color to make this section stand out. And we'll put in a small about section here, like what you might see on other real estate websites, by first dropping in a heading module and changing the text color. Next, let's look for a font we really like to personalize this section. We'll go to Google Fonts, and in this case, we'll look for a serif font that we like. Playfair display looks good, so we'll go with that one. Back in your Simply IDX site, go ahead and type in the font and size it according to your wishes. We'll give this a separator and color it to add some accent to the heading. Once we set that color, we'll go ahead and put in an agent photo.
We're adding in a stock photo here, but of course you can upload an image of one of your site's agents or anything you like. It's always a great option to go to sites like Unsplash and Pixabay if you're ever in need of more images. They have quality royalty-free images for you to download and use on your site. So we'll upload that into your WordPress website. We can size it. And then we'll add in another text editor module to put in some more detailed information. We'll change the color again and add a read more button that links to the agent's profile page. And to make this even more professional, we'll center the information. And we'll keep adding modules. Next row, we'll change the settings to make this full width instead. This will change the style so the information we add here can go across the whole page instead of staying within the row frames. And we'll create a community section, again with custom styling. By playing with the spacing and the weight, as well as the fonts and colors, we can really make sections more separate or cohesive and choose which aspects of the design stand out the most. For our community's image block, we'll again take one of our pre-made options from the various homepage designs. Just look for the featured community section, like this one from Naples, for example. To add more boxes, easily duplicate the first with the widget options. Then just get to styling. Here, we are getting rid of the photo margin so there's not any empty space between the images. Then it's time to change the titles and the photos to match each area. After we get some photos, we'll upload them to our media library in WordPress to quickly grab for those boxes, just like we did with the agent image. We could create custom pages to link to these boxes or create saved links in IDX Broker, just to give you some of the ideas of the possibilities with Simply IDX 3.0. Next, we'll duplicate the heading we made for the community section, and we'll drag that duplicate down to start our next section. From the IDX Zen theme, we can borrow the featured listings widget by searching through those template options again, and make that full width as well to really showcase those images. Maybe you're not crazy about that widget and you'd like to try something else. No problem, just remove it to start. Now you can actually see many listing widget styling themes on our widget themes add-on in idxaddons.com, so you don't even have to worry about knowing code to change up the look. To use our widget themes, we first need to log into IDX Broker and grab the code for the widget we want to insert with that styling onto the site. and we need to choose a style. So let's go with the IDX Zen Carousel this time since we grabbed the code for a carousel widget and we'll see if we like that better. 
Once you have the widget code copied from IDX Broker, head back to the editor in your WordPress site and drag and drop an HTML module where we left off on the page. Since we want to use the IDX Zen style, we'll scroll down to class and type that in. Now your style widget is in. And you can easily continue to change this to a different theme using the same class section. Next, let's build out our website footer. First, from your WordPress dashboard, navigate to Beaver Builder, then go to your theme or layouts. This is where we'll choose our header and footer designs, again, taking from the options in our Simply IDX designs. Once you drop the footer you're going to use on the page, you can easily change this information, as well as add text editors, photos, links, and anything else you might need. Feel free to play around with the formatting until it looks just right. Here, we're adding contact information as well as a statement about the company and setting up social media. You can remove any accounts you don't have and center the rest as well as add a custom color to make them really pop. Next, we'll navigate to our IDX Broker Legacy widgets and we'll create a lead login widget to add to the other empty side of the footer. This way, leads can easily log in from anywhere on your site. So to start, we'll create a new widget and select Lead Login for the type. Give it a name, build the widget and copy the code. Then we'll go ahead and drag and drop an HTML into that section of the footer where we want to have the lead login widget. And we'll copy the code and you should see the widget there. You can also use a button to link to the IDX Broker lead login page instead. So to do that, just drag the button from the modules, change the text to login slash register, something like that, and add the IDX Broker page to the link. You can even change the small text at the bottom of the screen for extra professional site branding. Once we have the formatting just right on our footer, we'll get our browser tab information set up as well. So save your changes and then click Customize at the top of the page in the editor menu. In the sidebar, go to Settings and then Site Identity to change the title of your website and the tagline, as well as upload a website icon for the browser tab. Then go back to Settings and select Homepage Settings and change your homepage to display as a static page. Select the page you just made to make sure it's being used as the homepage. And you can also use this screen to assign a post page if you have a blog set up. Next, we'll go back in that menu to select the IDX Broker settings. At the top is the search tool, so we can go ahead and customize these colors to match the branding of the site.
We can also use these settings to easily customize the colors of the IDX broker listing widgets. So here, we'll change the color of those arrows on the side of the widget. Then we'll go into General and Buttons so that we can even change that button color that we added to the footer before. These additions make styling your site faster and simpler than ever before so that you can really decide exactly how you want to brand everything without any need for knowing how to code. We can even use this to change the font for the text editors on the page, the headings on the page, and more all at once to be sure everything matches. Once we have that done, we'll go ahead and set up the header. Navigate to Beaver Builder again at the top of the page, but this time, click in the drop-down where it says Miami Header. From here, we can pull up the settings for the header, change the colors, and do anything else we want to do for the styling. Back in the home page, we're going to go ahead and change the margins of the hero video just so that we have that formatting a little bit nicer. Then go back to your WordPress dashboard again and go to pages. Add a new page, and this time we'll create a blog page. For now, publish it as a blank page and make sure you add it to the homepage settings in the customization menu. Back in your WordPress dashboard, Go to Beaver Builder Themer Layouts again. Add a new themer layout. Go ahead and title it Blog, and then change the layout to Archive. Add the themer layout and it should take you to the editing page. From here, select All Archives to the location and Publish. Then click to launch Beaver Builder and select Templates. Select the post template for your blog page and hit OK to allow it to be replaced. Then you should see your first sample post. Once we hit Publish on this page, we can click the title of the sample post to see how the individual post page will look. To have images on your blog page for your post previews, when you're creating or editing the post, scroll down in the sidebar to Featured Image and select an image. Then just click Update. Next, we'll just go back to Posts, and we're going to add a couple of extra new ones, just to populate the page so that we can show you how the blog will look once you have a few posts in. And here's how the blog will look with a few posts and images. 
We'll edit this page with Beaver Builder one more time now to change anything that looks off with the template styling. Here we can choose whether or not we want like a content preview, we can add separators or boxes, and we can change colors of any of these page elements. Once we have everything styled exactly how we would like it, we're all set up and we can save our changes. If you need help setting up Simply IDX 3.0 or with anything else on your website, please feel free to contact us at realtycandy.com by email at support at realtycandy.com or through phone at 435-222-5522.